Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Google Workspace with SendMails.io. And if you want to connect Google Workspace, you need to have the admin access. So if you are the person who don't have the access, you may have to ask your colleague to give you the admin access or to cooperate with you and follow the entire video. So first of all, you will have to log into your admin console, which will look something like this. And the reason why we want an admin console is just to enable one thing, which is two step verification. So just search for two step verification over here. Now here I'm getting this option, two step verification. All right. So once you're here at two step verification, you need to allow users to turn on their two step verification. This is the most important thing. You will have to allow them to turn on their two step verification by default it is going to be turned off and you will have to enable this option by asking your colleague who have the admin login. Once you have done this, once you have allowed the two step verification, now you can head over to your email account, which is going to be your myaccount.google.com. This is how it is going to look like. Just head over to myaccount.google.com and make sure you're logged in with the right email that you want to connect with sendmaze.io. So I'm connected with the right email over here. Now what I want to do is I will go to the security and scroll down a little bit and enable the two step verification. This is where it is going to ask you your phone number so that it can verify it through OTP and your two step verification will be enabled. So as you can see, I'm getting an option that this device will get a prompt once I try to enable the two step verification. And this is where I need to put my phone number. So I'm going to skip that part, but this is where I'll be putting my phone number and the OTP. All right. So as you can see, I have just verified my phone number and OTP. Now it says you'll be getting a prompt in your iPhone. So I will click on turn on and that's it your phone is successfully verified and your two-step verification is now turned on now you need to go to the app password and create a new app password so choose this one and put sendmaze.io because we are creating an app password for sendmaze.io and then click on generate and this is the app password that we will be using after recording this video, I'm going to delete this app password. So it might not work for you if you tried signing up with my app password, but yeah, let me just head over to sendmaze.io. And this is where I will have to go to sending and then the sending server. Now here I'll be adding a new server. So I'll click on new server and I will choose SMTP. Now just watch this carefully for host name. I'll just be putting smtp.gmail.com. That's it for username. I'll be putting my email over here and for password. I will be copying this one and pasting over here for SMTP support. It is going to be five, eight, seven and SMTP encryption method is going to be SSL. That's it. Okay, so there is something that went wrong. I have put in a wrong encryption method. So instead of SSL, I will be putting TLS. Yeah, and that's it. As you can see, your SMTP is now successfully connected with sendmaze.io and you will be able to send email using this email account. So that's it for today. If you have more questions, drop it down in the comment below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.